A review of the Razer Lycosa Gaming Keyboard. Razer Lycosa Gaming Keyboard features a backlit illuminated keyboard that glows blue. Each key has its own LED, which makes it extremely bright, even in the lightest features conditions. Features non-slip rubber keys, so your fingers do not slide off the keyboard while you're gaming, or you hit keys that you didn't really mean to hit while you're in a, a keyboard tense game. Features match. 1,000 hertz ultra pulling rate for the keyboard. Also, in the top right-hand corner, there is media control buttons for your pause, playback, rewind, and your and keys your lighting. Keys on this keyboard go down a fair bit. They're very nice. It's a very comfortable typing experience. You're not going to be strained by the keyboard at all. Nothing, you know, it's not a normal keyboard. This is a gaming keyboard. So there's a lot of specific features with a gaming keyboard that you don't get with regular keyboards, such as a one millisecond response time, USB on the ports on the back, and stuff like that. It, gaming keyboards are really, really specialized keyboards. If you're not really in the market for a gaming keyboard, you don't really see the point of one. I understand that. But when you have one, it makes such a nice advantage to other people. Well, you know, you have an advantage. You really do. You can make these macros that can hit four buttons at the top. So, like, one button can hit all your buffs, all your defensive cooldowns in World of Warcraft. Whatever you really want to do with this it. keyboard, hold on, my camera is not focusing. Focus, camera. Focus. Focus. Okay. Back, whatever, it's not focusing. We have a headphone and microphone jack on the back, and we also have a How USB camera going to pick up these lights, but I, it looks kind of like a purplish in my screen here. So everything is backlit, like I've said before. Every single key. It's individually backlit. So if I took off one of these keys, there you go. It is extremely dirty down there. I've been using this keyboard for about two years now, and it's has not failed me. Computer! Trying to record. There's three different lighting modes. So we got off, WASD, and full on. It's all controlled, again, by the touch media panel. How to disable the Windows key on a gaming keyboard because it sucks hitting the Windows key. You hit that snake on the top, you hold down on it, and you hold down on the key that you want to disable. In many people's case, it's this Windows key. When done, it completely disables the Windows key, and to put it back on, you touch the snake again, and you click at the button again. It disables it. It's fairly thin. Thin? Thin? Yeah, thin. The keyboard is very thin. Not as thin as an Apple keyboard, but I personally do not like Apple keyboards in that respect because it kind of feels like I'm going to break it. These, I mean, this is one very solid piece of plastic. It's not going to go anywhere. And, well, and I, I really want to stress these keys, these non-slip keys are just absolutely fantastic. My hand here, we got two USBs, microphone, and a headphone. So these microphone headphone go back into the back of your computer or in front of your computer, it depends what you got, and that will, will power the back headphone and microphone. The two USB ports, why are you saying why do we need two USB ports? One is for the keyboard itself and one is for the port on the back of the keyboard. Review of the gaming Razer Lycosa keyboard, the Razer Lycosa gaming keyboard. <laughs> is I give it a 9 out of 10. Now there's a specific reason why I give it a 9 out of 10. It's because there's a problem with this keyboard that I personally have. And it's maybe just my system. And it's the software actually with the keyboard. Sometimes, I, I really stress it's the software, and it may not be for all people, but it's definitely for me, and it always happens like once a month. Where, Let's say I'm you know, hitting WSD, I'm playing around World of Warcraft, I'm jumping around, I'm kicking butt. Randomly, I'll start spinning in circles. And I'm like, why am I spinning in circles? It's kind of awkward. Well, the software will detect that the D is still stuck down, even though it physically is not. So I'll sit there and spin in circles until I unplug the keyboard from the back of my computer and plug it back in. Again, this happens randomly, and it happens to me about once a month. It's not a big deal for me to go to the back of my computer and unplug it and replug it back in. I don't mind it. It is kind of a hassle, but, I mean, if that's a problem for you, you know, take that into account. Again, that just may be me. This, you know, a lot of the drivers, like specifically AMD ones on my computer, do that really work. Uh, Razer, like, hosted keyboard, uh, the, it, it works so I can customize everything, 
But you know that one little aspect, I don't know why that happens. Also, this mirrored finish, I really, really like it. Like, really like it. Problem is, though, it's a fingerprint magnet. So I have to go in here with Kleenex and clean it all out, like, once a week, just to make it look a little more presentable. Sorry for it actually looking a little dirty and stuff like that. Again, I've been using this keyboard for about two years, and I don't have enough money to go out and buy a new one just for a review. Thank you very much for watching this YouTube video, and I'll see you guys later, and goodbye.